On the national front, the White House COVID response team says vaccinations are up. It credits recent vaccine mandates with a 20% increase in the vaccination rate. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with highlights from today's briefing. Good evening, Doc. Good evening, Jason. Yeah, the COVID response team says two out of three eligible Americans are now fully vaccinated. That's about 180 million people. Now, the Pfizer booster program is also off to a strong start with boosters from Moderna and J&J &J potentially available soon. By the end of today, we estimate that over 7 million Americans will have gotten their booster shot, including about 3 million just in the last week. And importantly, in less than three weeks, more than one in three eligible seniors have already gotten their third shot. But there are still intense efforts to reach the unvaccinated and protect those still too young to get vaccinated. The CDC director highlighting a study of a thousand schools in Arizona. In the first month and a half of learning, there were 113 COVID-19 outbreaks in schools that had no mask requirement and only 16 COVID-19 outbreaks in schools with early mask requirements. In this Arizona study, schools without a mask requirement were three and a half times likelier to have a COVID-19 outbreak than schools that require masks. With FDA and CDC decisions on vaccines for kids age 5 to 11 expected by early November, plans are in the works to distribute the vaccines if they're authorized. We've asked governors to take steps to enroll providers such as pediatricians who rely heavily on pediatricians and family doctors uh, in the vaccination program so they can bring, they, be, they can begin providing vaccinations uh, right away. We'll make it convenient and easy for parents and kids to get vaccinated. We have the supply and we will be ready. Now, the team says if the pediatric vaccine is authorized, they plan to send doses not only to pediatricians, but also to community sites and in some cases directly to schools. Doc, when it comes to mixing and matching vaccine boosters, I know you've talked about this in the past, but there's some new information just out about that. What can you tell us? Yeah, Jason, a new study by the National Institutes of Health actually found people who received the J&J &J vaccine produced stronger antibody levels after receiving a booster shot of Moderna or Pfizer compared to a booster from J&J. &J. Now, those who were originally vaccinated with Pfizer or Moderna and then received either company's booster shot produced comparably strong responses. Now, we're going to probably learn much more about this on Friday when the data is presented to the FDA advisors, but this may have an impact on the choice of boosters, especially for those who got J&J. &J. Yeah, for sure. All right. Very interesting. Frank, thanks. We appreciate it.